All right, back into the game. I'm gonna try playing with mouse and keyboard, cause uh, if I have to shoot things on the regular, I need to be able to aim. I can't fucking aim with a fucking control. That's too much to ask of me. Is interact. I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom uh, back I, in the I lobby. knew I would have to they go. They should have gotten it open again. by now. The hotline should be in the communications department. Should. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there, if you ask me, but... I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. I mean, we seem to be doing a pretty good job destroying it ourselves. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. I, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. Just a little. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Who's you, though? I want to know who you is. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. Yeah. I think I will. Yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So You're objects too of friendly. power are mundane objects that and have the weird mouth movements and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. Yeah, I definitely got it. I, uh... So, HRA yeah. stop you from becoming Hiss. Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. I bet well, I Darling is behind it. As soon as I got it. I mean, each one it seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Her... The mouth movements when she speaks are too big. Like, nobody... I have never seen anybody open their mouth like that wide to talk. Like, never. Never in my life. The only time people open their mouth that wide is when they're singing, and I wouldn't exactly call that talking, you know, to people. <laughs> it just, I don't know if it's, like I was saying before, if it's a deal with motion capture and people are exaggerating too much, 
or if they use like a separate program for facial animations because apparently some things do that they use motion capture for you know most of the movements but then facial animations they use a different program and it's like overcompensating for things but like ah oh, the way her mouth moves just freaks me the fuck thanks, out thanks emily i'm sure I i'll don't have like more questions it. soon i dislike it just heavily. let me know why do we have no clearance I want to know. I want to know what this is about. Also, I love how the computers are all super. Old. This makes me think of Alien Isolation, like this type of like weird, chunky-looking uh, computer thing. Like in Alien Isolation, they're going with the, uh, you know, the original Alien uh, aesthetic of using old-ass-looking technology instead of like the sleek iPhone technology, which would make sense depending on how long this house has been around. But uh, it's uh, I kind I kind of appreciate it's kind of interesting because it its own kind of unique look and it does nothing ever looks like an iPhone store. There it is again, a welcome message. I don't like the movement as much. Um, using the mouse and keyboard, uh, although that might just be... Who's Tomasi? That might just be... I need to put this down a titch. Yeah, that's a little better. He's looking great. boxes. Oops. Jeez, oh god. Uh, travel costs. Week 83 report. Visited the following Nevada accommodations. Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel, in and out Aztec Court, Sleepy Bear Motel, Silver Springs Ranch, El Gato Panco Inn, A-plus Lodge. Accommodations, $831. Meals, $714. Gasoline, $295. Mini Bar, $313. Jesus Christ. I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state, but hey, I guess we're not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Rowley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road. Agent L. Hines. The boys in reach to perform, which may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. <laughs> That's the star for the mini part. <laughs> my, my ritual is drinking whiskey. Okay, dude. Sure, I, I believe you. Oh yeah, this is so much easier. Um, I probably have to go that way since this shit's weird, yo. I did just try to hit R to reload. Annoying. You need to. You need to quiet down. You need to be using your inside voice. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, it is so much easier to shoot when I'm using the mouse and keyboard. Just everything about it is easier. Oops. Field research. Oh, there's a bunch more. Field research on his entity, his barrier. The his resonance field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. 
His barriers appear as ways to impede escape or access by Bureau personnel. Two methods have discovered for lowering them. Destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity and destroy the hiss entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources of hiss resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of hiss resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the hiss? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the hiss? To what degree is watching and planning? R refer to file redacted for a full report. Alright, so the hiss agent. The hiss manifests in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in many corrupted agents floating through the Bureau. The Hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most noticeable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. These Hiss have displayed no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the Hiss corruption like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. <laughs> or are they raccoons preparing to enter their next stage of evolution? When attacked, his agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or ongoing transformation into a purely resonant form. Research is ongoing. Refer to file redacted for a full report. And... Unread zero... At some point, I'll have to actually look at these mods again. Making such a mess. Havana, AWE 48, event summary. An auditory event occurred in the United States Embassy in Havana, injuring the majority of diplomatic staff stationed there. Redacted deaths were reported and the outgoing information has been managed. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels but were too late to witness the AWE, which is reported to have been redacted. Staff experienced sudden intense vibration and noise accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for blank minutes. No visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was cordoned off and embassy staff were transported to continental U.S. After Formula 1-9 was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the Bureau for examination. See case file A185 for details. I don't actually know if that's supposed to be like an I or a 1 or just like a weird dash, but like that, I, I wouldn't really know how to read it. So I was talking to my sister about this game last night because uh, she's kind of she has it on a wish list. She's interested in it too, and she's talking about like an SCP she knew, which involved a vending machine, which you could get whatever you wanted from it, but you had to be like really careful and specific because someone asked for a cup of Joe, and they got a drink that was uh, their coworker Joe. He apparently was fine later, but still. Due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area of stability has been downgraded to yellow. Green is stable, yellow is low possibility of unanticipated building shifts, orange is a high likelihood of unanticipated building shifts, red is frequent unanticipated building shifts. Alright. I just heard it saying redacted. Bonk. Defined reload. That's closed off. Okay, that's where I'm supposed to be going, so I'm gonna ignore that. Check this out, then. 
Yes, it's overpowering All here. All right, so uh, I you guess I got to anywhere near it. I'm with you on that. I guess I'm putting it off for long enough. <clears throat> Um, set up kind of feels like um, like episodes almost. Yeah, I don't have any clearance on them. When am I gonna get clearance for shit then? Like, when does that happen? God, this, uh, the red is not, I don't like it. Trench, dead letter approval. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve those windows into authentic human encounters with the prayer natural world. The letters come to us from various places and times gathered by the postal service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain gatherings of genuine paranatural events, but even the erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. P. Bartwell. Then, Machine God. I had a dream, and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator, and the coils from my toaster, and the fans, plus the timing belt from my car's engine, and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. It's hilarious. Can I have... I would absolutely love... Mr. Governor, I called the police, but they never came to my house. I got a problem, and you got to send folks to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button, but it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. It says lots of cuss words. The devil got in my house because of the fish, and you got to come handle it. My wife is real upset. When can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. I can't see shit. 
So spooky. It doesn't... Like, I think it's, con like, technically a horror game, but it doesn't feel like horror because I can defend myself, which helps. wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Amazing. Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it, a perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we've, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. Amazing. And once, we even launched a cup. Fucking fascinating. <laughs> I like the humor that's interspersed in this. It's really funny. It's like my kind of humor. All right, let's uh, let's clean this place up. It does mean everything's a lot brighter, though. So yeah, I can fast travel around to make things easier for me, which will probably make stuff like backtracking easier. Because I imagine with like all the doors that it's not letting me through at the moment, there's going to be a lot of backtracking. Let me just do a... Communications. I need to go that way. On the right track. Oh, hello, Riley. How long have you been in my room for? Hello. My cat says hi. My lovely boy. More things to read. To whom it may concern, I am being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. Man, people are going to be so mad at all the shit I'm knocking over. Hello, avid readers! The Bureau Book Bunch will convene at the usual spot in the corner table of the cafeteria at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation starters before the meeting. Happy reading! Penny Bartwell. Oop. A new thing to watch. This is terrifying. This is really creepy. I don't like it. Can I not join the Threshold Kids, actually? The 
was that supposed to be a teardrop? Hey, Meg, what's wrong? My mom's dead. I'm so sorry, Meg. What happened? I don't know. They blacked it out. <laughs> it's like the director says. Confidential and children both start with C. You know what? Let's leave. Let's get out of this building and never look back. They probably won't let me though. I'm in Man, this place has so many bathrooms. Ooh, blood. Where am I? <laughs> Gross. Man, what was an object of? Power. Looks like the hiss has latched onto it. We need to cleanse it. 